So we got another abandoned house. This is a 1906 American Foursquare, which is a little farmhouse for the area, but everything kind of built up around it. And now it's in a neighborhood, which is pretty typical with these old homes. Uh, this one's pretty rough. Somebody started a renovation on it. They didn't pull any permits. And so we're gonna have to go in here. We're gonna have to rip it out and get engineer reports and reframe everything that they've already framed. Um, but this house has tons of character beadboard check it out all right so as soon as you walk in you'll see it's nice tall ceilings and we've got some cool wood up here now they got some weird stuff going on with some of the duct work and it's a package unit so we have to get an hvac guy to let us know if we can keep the the package unit or if we're gonna have to replace it um and then you see all this framing they did we're actually gonna pull that out we'll get an engineer report um hopefully we can put a ridge beam here and then some supports to hold it up and then this will all be ripped down this will be our kitchen area we're going to leave this but it'll be a secret door into a laundry room um, and then there's a bedroom back there this will be the master bath which is going to be really cool and then upstairs there's no railing so we'll get some railings put on these these look pretty good And they moved the, the stairs around, so this will end up being the bathroom for the upstairs. There's a bedroom in here. They've got that duck chase going. The beadboard, we're gonna rip all the beadboard out, but don't worry, that's gonna go downstairs in the ceiling. And so we'll use it down there. But it's got a good layout, you know, once we kind of move some stuff around. And we don't need the wall like that. So yeah, with these older houses, you'll see people try to cram bedrooms. Like that's supposed to be a bedroom, I'm pretty sure. And that's probably your laundry room or bathroom right there. Uh, I just do not believe in like making the living spaces tiny to try to get a little bit extra dollars out of, you know, making a four bedroom, three bath. Um, yeah, looking at this framing, I can already tell you, like with my experience, the county, they're not gonna let us keep this in here. They usually want LVLs. And the reason is all these knots and these variations in the wood grain, they can't account for that with structural load. So they're not gonna let you keep it in the house. And then over here, I mean, this is not bad, but I would just, I don't need to, to close off the ceiling here. I don't think you're gonna save that much energy by us just opening it up and having all that beadboard from the upstairs put, you know, along the ceiling and then have cool beams in here then we can open that up and that can just be the kitchen. And then in here, like I said, we could do an awesome laundry room area, um, but we could do a little secret doors here. And then, so it looks like cool built-ins, but then, you know, you got your laundry room right off your living space and it's not causing a mess. So I think that's pretty cool. And there's a little barn uh, off the back of this house. So let's see if there's any uh, any goodies. All right, looks like insulation, bags of insulation, but we have a lot of, you know, this rough stone wood that we could keep. That's really good. But I'll probably end up tearing this whole thing down. Um, and then we'll fence, fence over there. We're just gonna fence in the rest of the property. That's it. I love this house.